All right, since you all seem to struggle with the atomic structure of the ions, I'm going to put a video up. This is the bell work from Friday and explain how to do this atomic structure again so that you can watch it anytime you need it. When we're doing the atomic structure for anything, the nucleus part of it all stays the same. The protons are always the atomic number, and the neutrons are always the mass number minus the atomic number. It doesn't matter if it's a standard average atom, an ion, or an isotope. Those are always the same. Protons are atomic number, neutrons are mass minus atomic number. In the ions, it's going to be the electron stuff that's different. And the way I'm going to show you how to do it is based on noble gases. The idea being that when a substance forms an ion, its ultimate goal is to look like a noble gas, to have the same total number of electrons as a noble gas, have the same number of energy levels, valence electrons, as a noble gas. I put charge on here because you can use charge to find the total number of electrons and figure out what noble gas that is that it looks like. When you're dealing with an ion, the total number of electrons is the atomic number minus that charge. So that charge for strontium is plus two. We can use that charge when we get the total electrons to figure out what the noble gas is that it resembles. Protons, again, are atomic number, so we just find strontium on the periodic table. It's right there. Strontium is atomic number 38. So it has 38 protons. For the neutrons, it's going to be the mass number minus the atomic number. Now, this is not an isotope. There's no numbers over here on the left. So we look to the periodic table to get its mass number. The mass of strontium is 87.62, which rounds to 88. So to find the number of neutrons here is going to be the mass number, 88, minus the atomic number, 38 which gives us a total of 50. Again, that mass will come from the periodic table, 87.62. The six rounds that seven up to an eight, so that is 88 minus the atomic number 38. That's where that 50 comes from. Again, for total electrons, we can use this charge. Total electrons is the atomic number minus the charge. Atomic number is 38. Minus a positive 2 gives us 36. And again, this has to equal one of our noble gases. 36 is krypton. So when this is done, it'll resemble the element krypton. Another way to figure that out is to work backwards from your metal. Metals will always resemble the noble gas that comes before it on the periodic table. So to figure out what noble gas comes before it, you work from your metal and you count backwards. So 38, 37, 36. It'll resemble krypton and will have the same number of total electrons as krypton. <clears throat> Energy levels are period number, but it's not period number of strontium it's period number of that noble gas, of krypton. So this is period 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Krypton is in period 4, so we know it has four energy levels. And for valence electrons, it's the same number of valence electrons as this noble gas, as krypton. Krypton is in group 18. Drop the one, krypton has eight valence electrons. Let's skip aluminum, and I'm gonna go on down to bromine and do a negative ion. This one has a charge of negative one. So, protons are still atomic number. Always have been, always will be. Doesn't matter what type of atom it is. There's bromine. This atomic number is 35. Neutrons are mass minus atomic number. Always have been, always will be. Doesn't ever change. The mass here for the bromine 
is 79.90. So that rounds to 80 minus 35. 80 minus 35 is 45, not 40. And then moving on to the total number of electrons. Again, we can use this charge. Atomic number minus charge. The atomic number for bromine is right there. 35 minus negative 1. 35 minus negative 1 is the same as adding 1. So we end up with 36. Again, it has to be equal to one of these noble gases. And 36 is krypton again. Just like up here, the energy levels and valence electrons are based on krypton. Krypton is in period four. So it has four energy levels. Krypton is in group 18. Drop the one. And it has eight valence electrons. These are the same because they resemble the same noble gas.